Hi, I'm Brayden, co-founder at Robo. We're gonna review how to get started with your Robo C2 smart 3D printer with Wi-Fi, so you're up and printing in a matter of minutes. Before you get started, please register your Robo C2 so you're covered for any servicing or warranty needs if required. You can register your product at www.robo3d.com. Now let's get started. This video will cover unboxing, getting to know your Robo C2, initial setup, loading filament, calibration, the test print, removing a print, connecting to Wi-Fi, printing an STL file, and next steps for total connectivity. Unboxing Robo C2. To unbox Robo C2, start by opening the top of the box. Pull out the printer from the inner box using the strap. Then remove the foam inserts. Remove the accessories box. And finally, remove the inner foam inserts. Inside the accessories box, you'll find everything you need to get started. Quick start guide, Autodesk Fusion 360 free one year subscription, replacement print bed adhesion pieces, toolbox, filament feed tube, Robo USB stick, power cables and power supply, filament spool holder, a box of filament, and spatula. Getting to know Robo C2. Now, let's take a look at all of the key things that make up Robo C2 3D printer. This is where all the important parts can be found on Robo C2. There are two filament feed holes, filament release button, extruder nozzle, filament feed tube, interactive touchscreen, front USB port, filament sensor, filament spool holder, print bed, power switch, power in, ethernet port, and back USB port. Initial setup. Now let's move forward with your initial setup of Robo C2. First, insert the spool holder into the rear slot of the printer. Next, insert the filament feed tube into the filament sensor block, and then insert it into the extruder. From here, you want to connect the power cord to the designated area on the back of the printer and then plug it into the AC outlet. Now, go ahead and turn on the printer. Loading filament. To begin loading filament, Hang your filament spool on the spool holder. Be sure to unroll at least 11 inches or 30 centimeters of filament and thread it through the base of the filament sensor block and into the filament feed tube. Continue feeding the filament through the filament feed tube until it reaches the extruder. Then press the extruder button and feed the filament into the printer's gears. Now select Utilities on the touchscreen. Then select Wizards from the list. Finally, select Filament Loading Wizard and then follow the on-screen prompts. The printer will first heat up the extruder. Then a prompt will ask you to cut off the tip of the filament. If you're using a new spool of filament, you may skip this step. Feed the filament through until you see it coming from the nozzle. And that's it! You can close a wizard once you've completed all these steps. Calibration. Next, you'll want to calibrate Robo C2 by selecting Utilities on the touchscreen, and then select Wizards from the list. From here, you'll select Z Offset Wizard and then follow the on-screen prompts. The printer will first move to its home position. Slide a piece of paper onto the print bed beneath the extruder nozzle. 
If you don't have enough room, tap the up button on screen to raise the extruder head. Press the up and down buttons on the screen while sliding a piece of paper between the nozzle and the print bed until you feel some resistance against the paper. When you feel this, you have calibrated your Z offset. Press save and you're done. The test print. To create your first test print, select files on the home screen. Then select a file to print from the list. Now, select start to print and be sure to wait several seconds while RoboC2 prepares to print the file. The file will start printing. Just note that you can select pause to pause your print, or you can select cancel to cancel your print. Removing a print. When the test print is complete and cooled down, remove the print bed with the finished print still in place by lifting the bed up and away from the magnets. Now, carefully flex the print bed from several positions to help loosen the print from the print bed. Carefully remove the print from the print bed with your hand. Connecting to Wi-Fi. To begin, select Utilities on home screen. Select Network. Select Configure Wi-Fi. Then select your Wi-Fi network and use the on-screen keyboard to enter your password. Once you're done, select Connect. Printing an STL file. Just save the STL file onto your USB drive, then go ahead and insert it into the printer. Select Files on the touchscreen. Then select the file name. You can either download the file onto your printer or just print it directly off the USB drive. When you're ready to go, press Print. Next steps for total connectivity. To enjoy the most complete 3D printing experience, be sure to download the Robo app for your mobile device and follow the in-app setup instructions. If you want to print from your laptop or desktop computer, you also want to install Cure Preparation software for RoboC2 using the supplied USB or download it directly at robo3d.com software. Don't forget to check out the online owner's manual for more information about the printer at robo3d.com manual. And be sure to join our Robo community for more tips, tricks, and in-depth discussions by visiting our forum at community.robo3d.com. If you ever have questions or need help with RoboC2, our industry-leading customer support team is always available, day or night, at 844-476-2633, or email us at help at robo3d.com. Take care, and as always, happy making.